Hey everyone, welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack, and this is Polymaker's new filament, Polyterra PLA. So I've been testing out this new filament for a month now, and I have really been enjoying it. I think this filament line is going to become very popular in the 3D printing community, and you will understand why throughout this video. And this is not just a normal PLA filament. So recently I haven't been doing many filament reviews because usually the filaments are repetitive and are not really a new product or interesting for viewers to watch. But when Polymaker reached out and showed me their new Polyterra PLA, I had to make an exception. By the way, make sure to watch to the end of this video for a 10% off coupon code. For a little bit of background, one of my goals for 2021 is to support companies and buy products to either help our planet or are environmentally friendly. In the 3D printing community, we don't have many companies that do that, especially with filament. Companies are pretty much producing bulk plastics wound on injection molded plastic spools. In recent years, some companies have been switching over to recycled cardboard spools or just selling the wound filament to put on your own 3D printed spool. But Polymaker is stepping it up to a new level with their Polyterra PLA. Their new line of PLA filament is aimed at creating a more environmentally friendly filament while also being cheaper. Now this material is a PLA composite with an organic compound added and allows them to use 20% less PLA plastic for each one kilogram spool. They say the organic compound is made up of naturally occurring elements. So it uses 200 grams less PLA plastic per one kilogram spool. In addition, the filament comes on a fully recycled cardboard spool in a fully recycled cardboard box and even recycled labels. But Polymaker didn't stop there. They even calculated the carbon footprint to make one spool of Polyterra PLA, which is about four kilograms of CO2. And Polymaker has committed to plant one tree in the area of purchase for every spool of Polyterra PLA sold, working with OneTreePlanted.org. So they are paying for their carbon offset, which is actually a lot more than they are producing as with planting trees, they will convert carbon dioxide to oxygen for years and years to come. I know buying Polyterra PLA will not automatically save the environment, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Now I haven't talked much about the filament itself yet, which is pretty great as well. Polymaker has provided a chart of its three main PLA lines and the rigidity and durability comparison. If we look, Poly Light is extremely rigid and not very durable, while Polymax is pretty rigid as well, but very durable. Polyterra is a great mix between the two and has good rigidity and durability properties. It's a great PLA material for most use cases. Polyterra also comes in a wide variety of colors, including 10 normal colors and four pastel colors. For this video, I'm using the Sunrise Orange and Pastel Banana colors. For my printing, the colors look fantastic and are very even throughout the spool. I'll get to that a little bit later. In addition, because of the organic compound added to the PLA, the filament prints with an extremely matte surface finish. It looks really cool and also provides for an effect that reduces the layer line visibility. I do wish the filament winding was a little nicer, but so far I haven't had any tangling issues while printing. Also, Polymaker recommends printing at 190 to 230 Celsius on the nozzle and 25 to 60 Celsius on the bed, which is pretty average for PLA. Now, before showing off my prints with this filament, I want to tell you about the best part of this new filament line. The price for a one kilogram spool is only $19.99 in the US and EU. And to make the price even better, Polymaker has generously provided my viewers with a 10% off coupon code through the end of March 2021, which is all caps and one word, 3D now, bringing the price to $17.99 per spool. That's an outstanding deal for everything you are getting. A great quality PLA with a balance between rigidity and durability, a wide variety of color options, a matte surface finish, 100% recycled spool and box, 20% less PLA plastic use in the filament compound, and one tree planted in your area. What a fantastic deal, all for $17.99. Finally, I will stop talking and show some prints 
with the new Polymaker Polyterra PLA filament. So first off I wanted to use the banana colored filament and of course I had to print a banana as the first model. So I found one on Thingiverse, sliced it up, started printing on my Ender 3. And as you can see the surface finish is this awesome matte finish. And it's one of the most matte filaments I've ever used. The color does look awesome as well, it's very even throughout. And there was some support on the bottom which did come off easily but it did leave some residue on the bottom like most PLA filaments do, but that can be sanded off a little bit and look better. So up next, I printed out this cool little vase, which turned out pretty well. The bottom surface finish with my Ulta Stick Flex Plate looks awesome. And the layer lines look great as well. The matte finish is there as well, which is a quality of this filament. It's super, super matte. If you look at the little ridges of the pattern on this vase, it looks very sharp and very clear. And overall, it's a great print with the banana colored filament. So up next with this banana yellow filament, I had to print an object that is yellow. So I printed a Pikachu model. This is a low poly Pikachu and it turned out awesome as well. Again, this color is super even throughout the whole print. The matte finish looks amazing. And it prints just like any other normal PLA. It prints great. I didn't have to adjust any settings at all on my printer profile. So up next, I switched over to the orange filament. And if you get where I'm going, I had to print an orange at first. So I found this model again on Thingiverse. I sliced it up and started printing this as well because it's a sphere-ish and round, I had to use support on the bottom, which again broke off pretty easily, but did leave some plastic residue that is discolored. But again, that happens on most PLA filament, so won't worry about that too much. If I look at the surface finish, it looks great. This model did have a lot of bumps on it because it's a realistic orange scan model. But again, that matte finish looks awesome on this model as well. Up next, I printed a little gecko model. The surface finish is amazing. This color looks awesome on this model. The color is very, very even throughout the whole thing. And the bottom looks amazing with that Ulta Stick Flex Plate as well. All the feet and the hands of the, of the model look very sharp and clear. And overall, it prints just like any other normal PLA. And I had no problems at all with printing this. Finally, I wanted to print something more mechanical and test out the durability. So I printed this little buckle that snaps in and out. And you can see when, when I push in the two pieces together, the filament actually flexes to snap into place and it doesn't warp at all. It stays in its place, snaps right back to where it was before, and it turned out great. Overall, it's a great little print. Wrapping up this video, I really love that Polymaker is taking the initiative and moving forward to a more environmentally friendly product line. They are even using this product as a first step to transitioning all of their filament lines to recycled cardboard spools. I know in the filament manufacturing industry, they produce bulk plastics, but these small steps, like moving to a cardboard spool, adding an organic compound to the PLA composite, and planting trees for every spool sold is a good step in the right direction for our planet. Finally, I want to thank Polymaker for sending me these two spools to test out and the 10% off coupon code for my amazing viewers. Again, use the code 3DNOW, all caps, no spaces, at checkout on Polymaker's website to get 10% off Polyterra PLA. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this, comment down below if you have any questions, and I will see you all in the next video.